All right, everyone, um, I'm getting ready to go out and take the dogs outside and also check on my flowers. Uh, something's been eating them. I don't know, bugs or animal. Um, I'm pretty sure maybe beetles or something, maybe even ladybugs, I don't know. So let's go ahead and head outside. All right, we're heading outside. There goes Jazzy and Angel. Come on, Gab. Gabby. And we're outside. There's Gabby. She's 15. There's Angel. Hi, Angel. Hi, Angel. Where's Jazzy? There's Jazzy. Hi, Jazzy. Jazzy is a mini Australian Shepherd. Angel is a Sheltie, a Shetland Sheepdog. And there's Gabby. She's our old girl. She is 15 and still kicking. She's got some pep in her step still. And here is our pool. I got this pool from Big Lots for like, I don't know, $76 or something like that. It's a 10 by 30, so 10 feet across, 30 inches deep. It has a nice filter on it too. So water comes out here, water filters back into the water there. And uh, we put chlorine tablets in here inside the filter. There's a, a filter that we stuck in there too. And um, so the water filters through that. We've been getting a lot of rain lately, so it's nice and sunny today. Uh, it is supposed to rain later, so I don't know what time that's supposed to be, but it looks gorgeous outside right now. So, uh, although we've been getting a lot of rain, since the kids kick out so much water, uh, it's not quite up to the fill line, so I think we're good there. Let's go check out these flowers I planted. So, this is actually an azalea bush, a flowering bush. Um, it's already bloomed, so you can see it's like... You know the the flowers are like dry and coming off now and then here's some flowers i planted now uh, i am not a gardener i did not have a green thumb i just went to home depot and picked up some stuff that i thought might look okay here this was just dirt here before and i just couldn't stand the sight of all the dirt um, all the time so i'm trying to do something act like i know what i'm doing um which i don't <laughs> So the azalea bush will obviously come back uh, every year. You know, it'll bloom every year uh, around uh, springtime. This is daffodil. So they're like the mini daffodils. I don't know if you can see that little one there. So mini daffodil. And then of course some grasses here. I don't know what kind of grass it is um, or decorative bush, whatever you want to call it. So that's that. Hi, Gabby. And then same thing over here, exact same things. We have some flowers in there, the grasses, and some little mini daffodils. Oh, there's Gabby again. And then uh, we have some flowers over here, some lilies. And there's these other things are actually drying out or something's eating them. So this is where I'm having my problem. So if anyone knows what I can do, please let me know. So if you notice, some of my lilies look like they've been chewed up. Now I was trying to see if I could tell if there were any bugs. I don't personally see any bugs on the flowers, so I don't know. This is my white azalea bush, or tree, whatever you wanna call it. It's a flowering bush, and it is going crazy. I put it in the ground and it is so happy to be here, which I think it's funny because all the other flowers here are having problems. And then there's some grasses around the tree. It was actually one set of grasses here and I dug it up. Oh my God, the roots were so deep in there. Dug them up and separated them and put them around the tree. And then this is a flowering tree. It'll bloom some white flowers, probably the end of summer or uh, mid fall. And this is, these are all the vines coming over from my neighbor's yard, which are driving me crazy. I actually have poison ivy on my arm from trying to trim them. so. We're gonna get someone else to trim them or, you know, clothe all the way up to our hair <laughs> to make sure that we don't get it again. Um, I planted two azalea bushes over here in the corner of my yard. They've already bloomed. They actually didn't have a lot of buds on them as much as like the white one. But if you notice here, this one has some late bloomers coming up. 
So I at least get to enjoy those for a little while until they shrivel up again too. And then I have this random rose bush over here. Now I, again, don't have a green thumb. This bush was already here. Uh, it had a million vines over it, so I didn't actually even see it. So I cut the vines away. And of course now it's not strong enough to hold itself up because the vines were basically holding it up. Um, so I put this, I have like this decorative fence I used to use and I propped it up underneath there so it can hold the flowers up. So once the petals and everything dry up and, and fall off, I'll be able to trim this back some and hopefully uh, it'll be a little bit stronger. Over here you can see there's one brand new stem growing straight up since I've removed its uh, the vines and of course the people that were here before had one of those big metal things on it. I don't know if you can see that over here. They had one of these big metal things around it and it just it wasn't doing anything so I took it off. So I was trying to clean up over here so you can see I've raked some leaves. I've cut some vines from the, the fence. Now I plan to put a swing over here um, and clean it up so that we have a nice little sitting area. Oh, let me show you my bird feeder. I just got this on Amazon and it's so cute. Look how cute that is. And I got this holder from Amazon. Super cute. So my house is blue with white shutters on the front of the house so and white windows of course so you can kind of see why i would have bought this so let's go back over here oh you can see the kids dome climber there the kids love to play on that best thing we've ever purchased is that and then um i can take you there's the pool puppies running around over there this is oh maybe i'll back up some this is the kids playhouse or clubhouse it's underneath our deck so as you can see we put their gave them a number I just kind of have those on with some uh, little sticky velcro things so I got these numbers um, from Home Depot little cheapy numbers so my daughter is seven and my son my youngest son is four and then we got this super cute wreath on Amazon as you can see it is so cute I love it and uh, so the shed itself, so this is a shed. We turned it into a playhouse. The shed actually came from Amazon also. And it comes with a clear window, which is really nice. So Journey uses this like a restaurant. So clear window, so we put a curtain on the inside. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the latch comes with the shed, but we bought the door handle from Amazon. And we noticed that the walls are not super thick. So as you can see, not super thick I mean it might be like half an inch maybe an inch wide um, so we got these handles and as you can see the screws came straight through the other side so we actually got these uh, other screws so we may get some caps to go on here but we needed to make sure they weren't screws that had points so the kids don't hurt themselves so I also have these hooks I bought these hooks on Amazon so that they can hang things um, in here and it's just on there with like adhesive and this is their trash bag. They need to take their trash out of their clubhouse. So I do have some lights in here, some different light switches. Oh, it was already on. I'll have to let them know. And then they've placed some artwork on the wall themselves. As you can see, got the clock from Dollar Tree or Walmart, somewhere like that. I love Amazon. Most of the stuff in here came from Amazon. So uh, curtain, I just kind of uh, doubled it up curtain and then I repurposed the extra hooks that came here and put a rod a curtain rod on here so this is actually a tension rod I couldn't find a, a regular rod small enough or big enough for this little tiny window um, and of course the window is not deep so you can't actually use the tension rod um, because it doesn't have much of a lip here but it works great for them they open it they shut it it's fine and then uh, just looking at some of the stuff in here We've got some lights on Amazon. Um, if I push this light, you can see that they come on and then they change. So that was a special Amazon purchase. And then eventually you can turn them off. There we go. 
And then I got these, let me open the door a little bit. I got these on Amazon. So this is like a thick, maybe construction paper kind of material. Uh, this actually has texture to it, um, but it is paper. And then of course this like decorative string, I just kind of tacked it up in the corner. So they have a little something hanging. And then um, we have other lights in here so they can have nice bright light if we're out here um, grilling or just out here in the evening and it's a little bit dark. It does get dark in here. There's no like sunlight little area um, on the top of this um, shed like other sheds. But yeah, so that's their clubhouse. We repurposed their uh, carpet in the room they're not using really anymore. It was in my son's room. He decided he wanted to donate it to the playhouse, so we brought that down. So we needed to put uh, carpet in here, because if you notice, um, the floor is like the same material as the wall. So if you listen, it's like a hard, like plastic. Um, so, you know, the kids w weren't really enjoying walking on that and of course muddy feet. So we'll take this carpet out, wash it, put it back in uh, anytime that happens where we need to clean it. So again, more artwork. So it's a cute little playhouse they've, they've decorated and put stuff in here. All right, so I'll go ahead and close it up. There we go. So that again is the, the clubhouse. What are you doing, Angel? There's Angel. There's Angel. Jazzy, Jazzy. There's our sweet Jazzy. They don't like the sound of motorcycles, so they go crazy when they hear a motorcycle. Oh. Where are you going? Huh? I said motorcycle. Is that what it was? All right, so again, we're going to put a swing over in that corner. Put our little bird feeder up this morning. I also have a water fountain in the front yard. Not water fountain. A bird bath in the front yard I'm going to bring to the backyard, and I'll stick that over there. So I'm trying to trying to see oops, excuse me trying to see my vision come to life over here have a nice swing maybe like a chair and table over there too I think it'll look really really nice especially once the vines and the rose bush and everything are taken care of all right I guess I'll head back inside hope you guys like this video be sure to like and subscribe to my channel bye